What difference does drinking a regular sugar cola and a zero sugar cola make in blood sugar levels? In this experiment, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison to see how these two popular drinks affect blood sugar levels. On the first day, I drink a cola with sugar. Oh, let's wait a few hours. Okay, a few hours have passed, so let's look at the glucose monitor result. My blood sugar was 5.5 millimoles per liter when I drank the cola with sugar. Shortly after drinking it, my blood sugar rose and reached a maximum of 7.0 millimoles per liter after just under an hour. My blood sugar then dropped sharply over the next hour, and two hours after drinking the cola, my blood sugar was stable again. The next day, I drank a zero sugar cola. Oh, let's wait a few hours. Okay, a few hours have passed, so let's look at the glucose monitor result. My blood sugar was 5.2 millimoles per liter when I drank the sugar-free cola. For the next four hours, my blood sugar was pretty stable without anything that could be considered a spike. The maximum blood sugar levels in the period after I drank the cola were 5.7 and 5.8 millimoles per liter about two and four hours after the drink. But that's probably just part of the natural fluctuations everyone experiences in their blood sugar levels during the day because it was relatively long after I drank the cola. Let's switch to a graph where we can compare the two courses. The green line shows the cola with sugar. The red line shows the zero sugar cola. You can clearly see a difference in the stability of the blood sugar. The cola with sugar gives a significantly larger fluctuation. So if you want to prevent large fluctuations in your blood sugar, it's a good idea to think about whether what you drink contains sugar. Thank you for watching. Keep in mind that individual results may vary. Don't forget to subscribe to Dr. Blood Sugar to explore more exciting blood sugar experiments. See you in the next video.